What's going on, YouTube? This is ParkerLad88 coming at you with another video. Today I am joined by Neo Dark Guy. I the frame. That was awesome. That was pretty awesome. So we're gonna do a deck discussion today. We're gonna talk about the decks that we hate and or hate playing against the most. So let's go ahead and get yeah, into yeah. this discussion. I'm going to let Neo Dark Guy go first since he has ten. I will jump in at five, so take it away. Oh, I'm gonna start off with Jackpot Seven. Because I was about to put like all win condition decks down, except I kinda like Harappi and the Venom one. Because if you get three attacks off with Venom Venomanaga, uh -huh. yeah, you deserve the win. And Harappi's just awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. So they, <laughs> yeah. they deserve a win condition. Like, I'm upset that we don't have Harappi yet. You know. Oh well. But Jackpot 7 was annoying because as soon as you see like the Dark Scorpion burglars and them trying to give it to you, it's like well, I've got to like have a book of moon or something, so these yeah. attacks can't go through, or like compulsive kill the dark dwarf and blurgoon somehow. It was really annoying. It's times like um, these, I'm so happy that Belgrand is my spirit animal because they activate creature swap or whatever the heck, and I'm like chain effect, and then the players choose, and then I'm like, okay, Belgrand, go, and he's just like, no. <laughs> uh, number nine, Exodia, like. It's a five-card monster deck with 35 draw cards. Ooh, I can elaborate on this, because that's one of the decks I hate, too. This is deck number... I, I, I think this is my... I thought you weren't going to talk until I got five. <laughs> I wasn't, but... See... But see, I can add to this, okay. because I hate this deck, too. <laughs> no, you, you go start. Go ahead. Um, it's like a bunch of... One day apiece, and then into the void, and then draw cards, and draw cards, and draw cards, and up, oh, I have Exodia! Up until you know, Triver says you lose the left leg, or you lose the head, <laughs> and subsequently the duel. <laughs> it's like I, you shouldn't have a lose condition. Right you shouldn't have. The <laughs> oh, <laughs> gonna be mad about that one. <laughs> oh, whatever. You, can start you, you lose the right knee, and then you just have the angel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, but yeah, like I really think it's like. If you go first with that deck, you have a chance to FDK um, your opponent, which, spoilers, that's going to be on the list on here, too. And if they go first, they have, like, a really easy time to mess you up on not playing the game. And you shouldn't lose the game so easily to something like a Triver or a Mind Crush, in my opinion. But I don't like playing against the deck, so I really don't care. Yeah, go ahead. For me, like a general thing for decks, I don't like decks that play solitaire or basically don't allow for that interaction between player and other player. Because the idea between you guys, like, you're supposed to play your monsters, and they're supposed to play your monsters, and your monsters are supposed to fight and stuff like that, but in Exodia, you you don't do that. And you can spot those guys from a mile away, like on death row. You see them play a couple of draw cards, and it's funny when they even try and mask it by having an extra deck. I even played against one guy who was playing yeah. Dark World Exodia. I was like, oh, Dark World. Then he just kept drawing and drawing and drawing. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I know where this is. Um, go on. Can I talk about the Yada Luck now? Yes, go for it. Yeah, yeah, go for it. It's like the only one on this list that I actually kind of respect a little bit and kind of like a little bit. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Sangan, and Yadagur Asu. Oh, like, the three horsemen of death. Except they don't have the fourth, they probably killed it on the way. I guess the fourth would be, um, which nope. Black nope. Horse? Uh, yep, nope, you said, <laughs> nope. you said the Horseman of Death, that, that works just fine. Yeah. <laughs> there was um, a fourth Horseman, but it, it got killed because of Horseman of Death. <laughs> um, it's like, as soon as you see Chaos Emperor Dragon, like, hit the field, and then everything go away, and then Sangan happens to go there, it's like, oh man, that face down, I should have killed it, wait, I couldn't. So, it's like... Yada Garasu comes out and then it pecks you to death. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your turn. I I can't your hate turn. it that much because I played it on the video game. Your turn. But I I Wait, can't. No, <laughs> your turn. <laughs> I can't imagine playing that in real life. That 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 would have been disgusting. Like I I wanted to talk to people who had to cope with that in like regionals and stuff. Who was just like peck 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 peck. You're out of the tournament. Sorry, bro. Like you're not topping. Burn. Burn. How much attack does that monster have? 200. 200. So let's see. 200. <laughs> and it was a spirit, so it didn't stay on the field, so you couldn't hurt it. Uh, number seven. Number seven. <laughs> Malefics. Malefics are like the most annoying deck in the world, because it's just like, oh no, Cyber End Dragon left my extra deck. Malefic Cyber End? <laughs> 
4K beater for free. Now, I mean, there is Battlecraft and stuff like that. So that just kind of sickens me. It's just like, how do I summon this 4K beater? I have to go synchro and do all this and get this. And there's like a whole deck called like Plant Synchron or Flower Synchron or Plants or whatever, where they bring out Quasar and that do these elaborate plays, to get a 4K beater. And what does the guy playing Malefix do to match that? Just Beat her. Beat her. <laughs> Beat her. Oh, wait. Ha have fun with that. Oh, no, you killed that other beater? Oh, look, it's Beast King Barbaros. Beat her. <laughs> oh, yeah, have fun with that? It's that level 7 dragon that... That's a beater. Beat her. Oh, look, Malefic Stardust. Beat her. <laughs> and it protects whatever field spell. If you need a field spell. I mean, skill drain was that 3 at the time. So... Oh, uh, let's see. Number six, Dark World. And I hate Dark World for Dark World. I I hate Dark World. <laughs> I hate Dark Dark World. It's not even Dark World. We might as well just call it Graffa. I know. Right? That's what I'm saying. Please, <laughs> like before Graffa did not even have a problem with Dark World. Even with all the other sports, even with Snow, I, I mean, even I, with I, the field spell. Shoot, I'll even go as far as to say even with Drag Down, I did not I care. <laughs> I thought I was talking. Huh? I said I thought I was talking. Sorry, you hit another one. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I never even had a problem with Dark World. It was just Grappa. Grappa's for pussy! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know I play with um, X Monster and Friends deck with, like... It's like, it's not even good. It's like that deck was just specifically built to be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, summon a monster. Oh, Grappa. Summon this. Grappa. Like, the only play that I respect from that deck is, like, Gates to bring back a Snow so you can bounce it on your turn for a Grappa. And people can't even do that play right because they gateway to the Dark World with Grappa instead. That's the dumbest thing. It's like, there's too many dumb Dark World players out there who just go, like, Monster Reborn, the Grappa itself. It's like, there's one thing you can play, like, an annoying deck, but when you play an annoying deck and then you can't plus off it properly, is just stupid. It's stupid and annoying. Go ahead. So the reason why I hate Dark World so much is not just because of Grappa, but Grappa is an inherently poorly designed card. Konami had the audacity to say you can bounce this card, which allows me to plus to special summon out a 3k beater, so you're essentially summoning a 3k beater every single turn. Uh oh, 27. Okay, 27 beater every turn, 3k under the field spell, and then during your next turn, or if you have another Gates of Dark World, if you have any other discard outlet in your hand, and there were a lot back at the time, let's not forget about, what was it, Card Destruction, and... Morphing Jar. Morphing Jar, like... Fable Raven. Fable Raven. Um, they technically still play that today. All that... Trans Arch Fiend. Yeah. And of course, Drag Down to the Grave. And the list goes on and on and on and on. But just the ability to, ability to do that, like, it's not Banish a Dark World, it's not... Like, I don't even know what else they could have done, but like, all the other good boss monsters, well, let's talk about, um... What's his name? Master Hyperion. Master Hyperion is a great boss monster. It's got a great effect, and it has a it has a decent cost. Like you banish one of your agents, and you just mess the thing. Why couldn't Rafa have something like that? No, you're just gonna summon this beater for free, and then you have this card that you can plus again. And then yes, they have to annoying this card out. Let's like drag that with basically just the wall of your house. I like how you compare Hyperion to Grappler. How dare you kill my Earth? Now I'm gonna summon this Hyperion. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, I'm on five, so you want to start with five, or should I? Uh, 